Which you problem says go live. And uh, we're live. Oy vey, we're live. We're live. Welcome. Don't say fuck or bugger, etc., etc. And hey, look, we've got some video yeah. and we've got a browser overlay. So I thought we'd start off this rocket of fun. This great rocket of fun, which was, let's face it, a bit of a damp squid. What, squib? It was a damp squid. A squid. Well, you know, you don't want a dry squid, do you? Uh, not unless you're a chinky. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's been a bit of a damp, damp squib, this rocket of fun, i got to admit. They, they weren't keeping their powder dry, a uh, bit of a disappointment, so here's hoping Rocket of Fun 2022 is better. So let's talk a bit more about the um, Hedgehog, that's right. So how do I select the browser? That's the browser, right. Now I wish to interact with it, there we go. And now, the hedgehog is any of the spiny mammals of the family in And I learnt some things. I learnt the sound of a hedgehog that makes him distress. What, is this the wrong one? Because it says live stream offline. Does it? I've just put the wrong link oh, out live. everywhere. It's right. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll put the wrong link out everywhere. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll give the. You might want to delete the other one so people don't go to it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how do I do? Can I do, do that? Open up a new tab and delete the link. Uh, you see the see the camera icon with a plus in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Go uh, to create. Go live. Yeah. Okay. So I'll have to do that. And, create. Uh, go live, and then you'll see two in there. Right. So let's have a look. So manage. Yep. Yeah, the rocket from 2021 to Bonanza. That's that's live. I don't see any other ones that are live. I only see one live stream. Yep, there's only one going, I can see now. Yep, yeah. Oh, is so. that? Oh, okay, then something weird's happening then. All right, okay. Hello, people. Uh, welcome to Rocket of Fun 2021. And, um... Yeah, what did you get a strike for this time? Um, well, not that I would get a strike for anything, because hmm. I would never be allowed onto the JIGF respecting channel if I'd done a hate speech, because... They're not about hate, they're all about peace and love on the JIDF. Especially towards native Israelis, where they just want to send them towards, I don't know, Allah. That, that's the Jewish god, yeah. right? Allah. Inshallah, yeah. Uh, uh, Muhammad Jihad, yes. <laughs> let's, um, let's upgrade uh, some of these roads whilst we're talking, because... Uh, what did, what did um, your good friend Freeman on the Sand get struck for? Because he's a naughty boy, isn't he, uh, Freeman on the Sand? Well, it turns out, episode 120, Socialism Bad, question mark, a hate speech. And that is not okay. You you cannot do a hate speech on the YouTubes. And if you do... Unless uh, it's calling for Whitey's death. Well, that's not hate speech. That's love speech. Because yeah. the, they love to hear it. So yeah. Let's just... Uh, Right, and so what's going on here? So there seems to be a massive pileup of cars going here. Yeah, basically, hedgehogs, um, they really, really like it when dogs bite them hard. And they're like, oh, yeah, hurt me, daddy. So there you go. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I learnt this weekend. And I also learnt when that... A when a staffy when a staffy but bite, bites a hedgehog, then the hedgehog gets a boner. We found that, that out this weekend. <laughs> when, when the staffy begins to hate or love... I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One or the other. Well, it, well, it, my, well, my, my stuffy done, done did a done did an ooga booga crime, didn't he? Because he is an ooga booga. Your your dog is retard. <laughs> he, he is. Um, Hemi has a dumb dog. It's so dumb. <laughs> this is he goes, oh, this is a spice. That's a spicy meat bar. I'll, I'll just keep sticking my mouth up. Oh, um, my, my mouth's bleeding. Oh, well, never mind that. I'll just keep biting the hedgehog. I think, like, the logic process in the dog, limited as it was, was like, hmm, when I bite down, it hurts. Do I bite harder or let go? <laughs> <laughs> the answer was... Yeah, I'm going to carry on biting harder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the noise of distressed... The hedgehog survived. He crawled off. He was fine. Um, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Yeah. But uh, the you, noise a distressed hedgehog makes is vile. Yeah, it's, it's not... When, when like, a Saturday night, and you're just trying to relax, and you had a couple of beers, and you're sort of nodding off, and then suddenly you hear... Rah, rah, rah. It's just... I, honestly, I've... I thought your dog had, uh, had eaten one of the neighbour's cats. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, that that was good. That was good. It's fair. The Chad had had the Chad Hedgehog versus the Dumb Dog, and the Chad Hedgehog won. Yes. Yeah. Good on that Sonic Hedgehog. Yeah, um, the dog got the go, dog got one puncture wound in. I think the hedgehog's going to be fine, but the, the the hedgehog got many puncture wounds in on my stupid dog. Yeah, you have a dumb dog. Your dog's so dumb. <laughs> Why do you have such a dumb dog? Oh, it's not my fault. The missus picked him. Ah, oh, yeah. But I see. I'm a cuck who let. Yeah. My, I'm a cuck with African stepchildren, and I have it. Oh, uh, speaking of which, the Saturday stream was boring and gay. Oh. <laughs> I watched that and I, I was, oh, it was. I, was I mean Phil Phil was pretty entertaining, but you know, if his internet hadn't been shit in the bed it might have been a bit more key now, but I mean Phil was trying his best, but it was like you, when you when you're dealing with someone like Top Cat, it's just like you're trying to bail out water and it's like there's a hole breach. <laughs> Do you know what? I think this place could benefit from a roundabout as well. I have learnt that yeah. every junction can be improved with roundabouts. So, just waiting for Jaff and other Americans in the comments to go, yeah. Up is that meme, you know, with the dog in the house that's on fire. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. I don't want to fuck you around about. St standards, mate. Standards. It's, it's, yeah, it's, instead of saying this is fine, you're saying standards, mate. Standards. These, these are high standards. These are, mate. I can't, I can't wait for the for the Britain first meltdown. That's going to be <laughs> fucking hilarious. When he goes and Andy goes and Andy edges uh, uh, his his motor. He goes and uh, Andy edges his mate Paul's motor. Mm. Andy edge and top cut. What a combo that would be. Best friends. Maybe that's it's the standards. Uh, Andy edge has high standards. That's why he went. Why he went and done did a done did a, a paint a paint stream on. Uh, and the edge on his, and his motor. Cut, and the edge and top cut combined could they could they make a mint movement a good group they would. Yeah. Like it, I follow it. Uh, all, you, all you'd need then to finish it off would be down with the sickness, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. You gotta get him on, Phil. That would be yeah. fucking fun. Yeah, I want. Oh well, yeah. Right. I think um, you should join top cut. In, in short, I think we I think we should leave top cut alone. No, it's like he stopped being key you now. Um, he's at, he's he's batshit insane. But more importantly, Alphabet be, uh... cast asks, "Am I right in thinking roundabouts are a French invention, Hobbit? When I've done with this junction, I will have a look for you." But first of all, no, they were invented in the UK because wasn't it supposed to stem from an accident? The the first the, the first the world's first roundabout is in Letchworth Garden City. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Intersection marking tool. That's what I need. I am going to create a filler between these two because I was driving on uh, some Well, roads. the French kind of done it anyway because they go, go the wrong way around, don't they? That's it. Well, the, well they go the about arounds. Yeah. As opposed to roundabouts. Ah! Jokes! Nope, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. That, that looks sort of okay. Uh, the widespread use of the modern roundabout began when the UK's Transport Research Laboratory en engineers re-engineered and standardised circular intersections during the 1960s. Frank, Le Frank Blackmore led the development of the priority rule and subsequently invented the mini roundabout to overcome capacity and safety limitations. The priority rule was found to improve traffic flow by up to 10%. In 1966, the, the United, that, that's like one car an hour. But in 1960 standards, isn't it? Um, in 1966, the United Kingdom adopted a rule that all circular ju junctions that required entering traffic to give way to circulating traffic. Uh, a transportation research board guide reports that the modern roundabout represents a significant improvement in terms of both operations and safety when co compared with older rotaries and traffic circles. The designs became mandatory in the U United Kingdom for all new roundabouts in no November 1966. Australia and other British influenced co influence countries were the first outside the UK to build modern roundabouts, so the Yanks were... Uh, so next, the modern roundabout spread to France and Norway in the 1970s. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because over in the continent, a lot of places have these priority to the right. So your, your traffic, you're on the road, and you see traffic coming out from a junction, you have to give way to it. That's, that's the rule, which is a bit... Um, it's a bit strange. 
Uh, the only exception to that is that if you see a road and you've got a diamond symbol on it, that means you have got priority because you're on the priority road. So oh, Hobbit, check out Doodling Pad. There's the picture of the first roundabout. All right, so I'm going to have a look at uh, that roundabout. Oh, yeah, okay, so this this copy this thing and we'll... I've actually been over that roundabout. Oh, yeah. Um, this yeah I've been over, been over a little bit of history. But that says that was from 1909. So let's go interact and see Gr Grub and Glory. I can't remember the episode number, but the Grub and Glory we did a we could did a deep deep dive on roundabouts, and that was including uh, Train Adam. Yeah, Train Adam was in on that one. The United Kingdom's first roundabout, nineteen oh nine, Letchworth. Oh, is that the one where I showed like the Hammersmith and Swindon Magic Roundabout and how like a yes. great intersection is? So yes, so that's Letchworth Garden City. So yep. um, there we go. So here's the, an intersection. You've got like uh, two six lane uh, roads crossing. And what they're doing is so you see this blue car at the bottom here. Hopefully, the chat can see my cursor. And it's coming up from the south and it stops. And then it give, it's giving way for traffic which is already on the roundabout. So it's looking if you're coming up there. You're on the right-hand side, so you'll give well, away How about this, left. then? Letchworth Garden City. The town's na name is taken from one of three villages it's surrounded, the other two being Willen and Nor Will Willian and Norton, all of which featured in the Doomsday Book. The land was the land used was purchased by Quakers, who had intended to farm the area and build a Quaker community. The town was laid out by Raymond Unwin as a demonstration of principles established by Ebenezer Howard, who sought to create an alternative to the industrial city by combining the best of town and country living. It is also home to the United Kingdom's first roundabout building, built in 1909. Well, I'd love to show people on the, the, the thingy uh, roundabouts, but they're like, oh, you're trying to use the browser window? No, fuck you. No browser window for you. Also, so, Letchworth Garden City is where um, a lot of the World's End, the um, Simon Pegg movie, was filmed. Oh my god, the, the traffic is like, I mean, that's like a 10 mile queue. And let's see, where is this traffic going? It seems like everybody is stopping here because they want to oh get... Oh no, Hobbit, Hobbit's playing computer games again. Where's his fucking standards, Mitch? So, where where are the, all these people going? It seems like loads of them... Want to get well, in what, here. I, what I want to know is why was Phil covering up for the fact that uh, uh, Top Cat shit himself? Um, Top Cat looked like he'd shit himself. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, Phil, Phil missed out on the fact when he gets out of the chair, th those uh, <laughs> those trousers were were suspiciously sagging, Phil, and you missed it. Hey, yo, he, his trousers I was more been shag by the fact shagging? He's got. sagging. I was more concerned by the fact he's got a little boy doll in his bed. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're only obsessing about that because you're a closet paedophile, that's why. Yeah. yeah. No, you're a gay. Oh, yeah. No. You're a gay. Yeah, no, you're a gay. Normal. You're the gay. We've all got fucking dolls in our beds, haven't we? That's mm. just normal behaviour. Fucking weird, though. Mitch, he's going to get the bestest, goodest girlfriend that you've ever seen, Phil, and he's going to have about a <laughs> hundred kids wait. with her. He's saving himself. <laughs> just you wait. He's been saving his virginity up now for 38 years, and yeah, when when yeah. he pulls this bird, she's going to be fucking cracking. Just mate. looking for the right woman, oh, yeah. or, or a young boy. She'll be, she'll be fresh at she'll be fresh out of puberty and ready to breed, Phil. Anyway, you you wouldn't know her. She goes to a different school. <laughs> her name is Lisa Simpson. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh I <laughs> get it. Kidding. It's a Simpsons <laughs> joke. <laughs> That's what he's like. He's like, I think you found my mate Bart. Got some more money. Your Bart's been having a chat. <laughs> and what would come all over his face? And he said, You know, this girl called Lisa. Me, Lisa. Nah, it's fucking, it's fucking weird. I could just imagine he's like, you know, looming over. It's like, Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Lisha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he was like. He was like, okay, because he, he tried to own me. He was like, yeah, oh, what, Andrea left you? Yeah? I was like, well, yeah, I had a woman, didn't I? So, so you had a woman. fucking, why did... <laughs> Wait, was it the time you had a woman? Fucking, why did she leave you? 
fucking Phil. Fuck, 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 I think I did pretty alright. I was quite happy with that. I was like, four fucking years, eh? That was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good go for me. <laughs> I mean, in, in, me. Dog, in dog years, that's <laughs> like half a lifetime. Fucking <laughs> hell. Oh, you know, stuck around for four years, that's cracking, that is. You feel you did four years, he couldn't do three miles. I mean, just look at it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, all, we, all know, we all know we can't run three miles, don't we? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Lick a stamp or put the cat out. Yeah. He couldn't Well oh fuck, what was the what's the Johnny Citizen version? I, I oh no, Chop Cat can't. What, we, oh we oh yeah, he says can't put the stellars down. Can't pull the away. I forgot what he said, something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, the return of Johnny Citizen. Puke in the toilet. I haven't seen uh Janny sweeping it up in a long time. Janny Searson's on a <laughs> redemption arc, isn't he? What the fuck's going on? Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's a strange world we live in. That's you be careful. Charlie, to Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Big Pashacious was right, and Janny Citizen's on a fucking redemption arc. What timeline are we on? Is this the worst timeline? You will live to see yeah. man made horrors beyond your imagining. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this no, that just makes that just makes you think of uh, what's what's Bill Murray's speech in in uh, uh, in um, Ghostbusters, the one where he goes, "Dogs laying with cats," you know that one, the one when he's talking to the mayor. Oh, uh, end of days, yeah. Oh, was that was that <sighs> Ghostbusters? I thought that was uh, Dogma for some reason. No, it's Ghostbusters. Uh, dogs laying with cats. Oh, I'll see if I can find the clip. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, that's not a good move. Looks like he's uniting the right, though, you know? What top he is? Yeah. Yeah. What, we can have Tommy Robinson on us? It's like, good work, lads, with your JIGF respecting. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. To he's Tommy. Hello, Goth. Uh, well, good luck on your on your JIGF respecting thing. And, uh, yeah, good job with it. And, yeah, we got to defeat those Muslims in it. Yeah, I must say. Yeah. Uh, that, that's oh, Tommy, Tommy Robinson. Head, only Tommy Robinson. Got a little boy's head. I see. Never noticed. Got a boy's head. N n I, n I never noticed. Uh, I just always remember the. Oh, Tommy, 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 Tommy Robinson. That's all I could remember. For. He's in. He's, he's in. Uh, he was in prison and uh, or the court, and all of his fans came out, and I just thought, you know what? I like those fans. The, the the fan the fans deserve someone better than to Tommy Robinson. Your man name's Tommy Robinson. Yeah. I'm 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 a British nationalist in it. Yeah, as long as the British nationalist is for Israel, then that's okay. Oh, Tommy, 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 Tommy Robinson. Tommy, Tommy. Oh, guys, I'm doing this thing from English nationalism. I'm going to make a documentary called Shalom. It's going to be great. Oh, Tommy, 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 You're playing City Skyline, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I... Oh, Toppy, Toppy. Toppy, Toppy, Robinson. Standards. Well, I, I heard from anonymous sources that shall remain nameless, Phil, that uh, oh, yeah. Top Cat's name's Tom, so... Oh, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Tom Swan. Simons. Is his name Tom Simon? I, I wouldn't know anything about his name being Tom Simon Stein. Yep, Simo. You're right, Simo. Are you watching the chat? Yeah. <laughs> that's just someone else. That's someone else. I don't know who that is. That's no, no. I, mean. the, the, I refute these egregious calumnies, uh, Phil. The, these, these, these Simo. lies. I, I won't stand these lies about. Oh, I found, I found the, I found the bit from Ghostbusters. Biblical what do you mean biblical? What he means is Old Testament, Mr. Yes. Mayor. Real wrath of God type stuff. Exactly. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, <laughs> I get the point. <laughs> That's the bit. <laughs> that, that's good, that. Right. Yeah. Uh, the other bit, I'll find the other bit where he says, it's true, this man has no dick. 
<laughs> yes, this is true. This man has no penis. <laughs> that's what he said. So he's talking about Tabbers and Peck. He said, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> oh, that's it. Uh, Peck says, he says, he said, I've got no dick. And he said, yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Right. There we go. Okie dokie. Uh, so now there's a massive queue around here. This is the bit. And they're sort of going along. And what's happening? So they're going there. They're going there, and then they're going to the roundabout, and then when they get to the roundabout, right, right. you ready? For, you ready for another bit from uh, yeah, Ghostbusters? Go the same scene. Do the bit. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. They're actually using the roundabout to go somewhere, so I'm I'm happy with that. <laughs> yes, it's true. This man has no dick. I oh, did I not play that bit. No, I didn't hear oh, it. For fuck's sake! Didn't hear it. No. But uh, mind you, Hemi's right, been see. taking some lessons of OBS. He he saw Phil and the way he had is things laid out. Yes, it's true. This man has no. Oh, they bleeped it. They bleeped dick. Sorry. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true. This man has no nigga. <laughs> this man has no dick. Yeah, we are. We are like. Uh, it. Yeah, it's it's the clip from the mayor's office. It's funny. I forgot how good Ghostbusters was. I haven't seen it in ages. It is, isn't it? It's like Bill Murray yeah. was. A, was a, what happened to Bill Murray? Like it lost in Paradise, and then that no, lost in Translation, and then then. What? Yeah, I think that's it. That was the beginning, the end, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Zombieland, where he gets shot. That's quite funny. Is it? I'll, I'll take. You yeah, because he pretends to be a zombie and then he gets shot, doesn't he? Oh, oh, okay. Is that the one with Woody Harrelson encouraging people <laughs> to do cards? As Donny says, it's true. This man has no chips, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good night, Mr. Chips. Are oh, you going to play the Chippy Tits video? A bit. Uh, I'm going to do the oh, do the Chippy Tits video. Everyone will love this. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, there you go. I'll find. I'll find it and chuck it in doodling pad. I'll make it easy for you. Yeah, I mean, if if it's the one Goblinson made, um, like I, I'd have to. No, not that one. It's no. the funnier one, actually. No, no, this is this is uh, this is uh, that that Bexon thingy. The clips I've been sharing. Put this on. All right. Okay. So let, let's have a look in uh, the doodling pad, and uh, it's the exercise class for chippy tits. Okay. So <laughs> copy the link, right? And then I'm gonna. I'll go live so we can see it. Yeah. Yeah. But hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I can figure this out. Give us. Give us one. One moment whilst I try and do this thing. But I'm a bit brain dead. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that, but a bit of. I think bit... it's about the. I just think it's about the the amount of booze and meat we ate yesterday. <laughs> oh no no the the meat the meat and stuff that's fine. It's just it's is the driving and it was the, I think seeing like a, a sixty mile an hour speed limit sign did my head in. I saw that <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, you what? Oh, is no, that it's... a sign of you for dogs and cats living together? Wait a second, I had a, a ding ding that ding. That's me. I was that was me. That, that's uh, uh, stopped it now. A vast antivirus noise. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, I was just thinking. I don't have a. a f ah, that we go. Right. So now put the link in. Yes. I forget uh, to click the audio box. Uh, right. I'll I'll do that. But um, it's got. Uh, come on, brain. You almost had it. See? Oh, I don't like <laughs> this one. Hang on. Wait a minute. Go to OBS. And yeah. uh, we want to do a window capture. So let's do a window capture. And then um, call it. F -f -f -f. Uh, yep, that's copying the right one. Oh, uh, just from earlier, Alphabet, is Hemi's dog's gonna, gonna have to visit, visit the vets then? No, 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 he's, uh, he, his mouth's all healed up now, he's not bleeding anymore. Yeah, he, he just... Uh, he's uh, it's just as well he's stupid and he heals well. So, I don't want the stream... It's quite a good combination. Lines, but if I... No, I want to do screen share, but not city skylines. What you're there we go. It, well, it's only... You can only, I, you can only see city skylines, so... Like, oh, no, I can see it now. What? See the video. You you can see. Which means I could have seen it thirty seconds ago. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's let's press play because everyone else wants to see this. <laughs> you do exercises. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the chippy tits. Hello. Hello, Paul. The other men don't know the chippy tits. <laughs> 
his face looks horrible and and like. Yeah, they do a face. They do like a face changing up, don't they? Wow, really open. Th this is normal Facebook stuff. We finish. Maybe we start off with a wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not looking at it. This is this is to Toppy's the one that Toppy's the one standing at the front and uh, Toppy's the one standing at the front and we're the ones at the back taking the piss. You can try to help out the people with chicken like tits. When you're skipping, the AI kind of slips its mask. Yeah. Oh, oh, that that that's not Nash. Oh, chippy tits, isn't it? Dirty. Ass so tits so ass so tits. That's really. Could be a twinkie. I'm trying to do oh. something good here and you just take a piss. Oh no. Tuppy. Um, Poor old Tuppy's just trying to sort this out and, and uh, there we are laughing at him. Trying to save the what race with his lifted heavy things and we're just taking the piss, aren't we? Yeah, you, you just got no sympathy. That's rude! Yeah. yeah. It's not exercise, Tuppy's just praying me piss off. That's the idea. <laughs> oh. He's got the big guns out now. Dog Toppy, old Toppy has. Choppy Chitch Mage. That's a very loud uh, mural in the background. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> wow, look at the difference. What difference? Nothing to carry on! <laughs> All right, there we go. So there, there was your there was your state mandated uh, humor, and I hope you appreciate. Oh, a Russian tank that's like got it's a tank and it's Russian. Estari, it's I can't pronounce that word. So let's just let's just not bother with that word. So we're just not not going to do that. It's going to do that there. And gonna get rid of that one. There we go. Back to the game. So, was there any stories I wanted to talk about? Let's see. Let's this this have a oh, look. Tony B. Tony B. Liar was on Andrew Marr today. Oh we yeah, that, it, that was a fair. I was. Um, uh, it well, that's one of those things you you need the clip for. So maybe you can do that on Tuesday. I've got. I found a clip on uh, Twitter. Play the audio. Um, on. That'll do. Okay, I'll pump. I'll pump it through. Yeah, yeah. So all these people, they're going here from new variants. Then it's important, at least, to ensure that those people who are vaccinated have the maximum freedom they can. And I think that could also be done for travel as well. Is it acceptable to turn down a vaccine? Do you think? Unless you've got a good medical reason, my view very clearly is no. And I think that's why it's important to give people a real incentive to get vaccinated because you know if, if you are vaccinated the evidence is absolutely clear it reduces the risk of transmission and it reduces the risk of hospitalization or death i think it's uncertain at the moment and uh, the paper we're putting out today is is we. saying we should really distinguish between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated so both here at home if we if oh we that's playing it again 
Um, that, that's playing it again. Because Twitter video is absolutely shite. It doesn't stop when you finished it, when the video is finished, does why, it? Why would you want to stop it? Why would you not want it to loop ad infinitum? <laughs> loop in your head forever. Yeah, because um, yeah, the other thing we, we, we realised watching Ma today is there's is there's going to be a little bit of a problem coming up because um, basically what's happened is the left have been gaslighting the, the blacks for so long saying that they should um saying that it should not trust the government and uh and that uh you know the, the government's institutionally racist and it wants wants them all dead well, um is there any evidence so to that, back and up that's going to kind of bump in so what's happening is they're not taking up the uh, vaccine and that's going to cause a little bit of a problem is is there any evidence to back up this claim that the government wants them dead and is institutionally racist because uh a government wants everybody dead, doesn't it? I no. know, but the blacks seem to think, <laughs> I don't it's... think it. I don't think it's really discriminate. I don't think it really discriminates, does it? It just wants everybody dead. I, I was going to say that the, uh, the there may be some sort of um, what's the word I'm looking for here? They, they may Proof. well. I was going to say they they may think it's like exclusively them they're targeting. It's like no. If they, if they want to reduce, like in the Georgia Guidestones, saying reduce the world population to 500 million to keep in perpetual balance with nature, well, there's a number of things I can tell you about that. One, 500 million is just the starting goal. They want it to go far less than that. Why are you stopping in the middle of the motorway? That's ridiculous. What the fuck? It, two, 500 million perpetual balance. Then you get the army out and have them shot. Uh, what? The people that are stopping in the middle of the motorway? Uh, I think it might be better to get the army to go along with like snowplows and push them along. Do you, do you see? That? No, no, I'll tell you what. What they're going to do? What they're doing? They're being silly buggers. So I'm going to use some um, some lane discipline here. I'm going to say if you're in that lane, you're forced to go in those lanes. You can't change over like that blue one just did. So pause, right? Because he needs to be singled out for punishment. You are now deleted. There we go. There. Um, and two, yeah, they, they're not going to stop. It's like, oh, well, we've had a goal of 500 million now. It's like, okay. Oh, what, was the, what was the bit that uh, Andrew Marr said where he absolutely fucked him, didn't he? <laughs> I can't remember what he said. But he said when me and you laughed out loud, didn't we? Well, yeah, it was just basically... It was saying, like, um, you, what, you're going to tell blacks they're not allowed to go on holiday because they've been unvaccinated. This, this <laughs> is, you, you've admitted this law unjustly and it disproportionately affects blacks and uh, <laughs> if there's one thing I know about the UK that the Battle of Runnymede and the Magna Carta and the secession from the Catholic faith all of that was because you're not doing enough for blacks that, that's yeah and I've watched horrible histories as well and I know that this country was built for for and by blacks yeah yeah so uh Really, Tony Blair. Chippy tits. Uh, yeah, Tony Blair has to say uh, why he's not doing enough for blacks, and uh, why isn't he giving? Yeah, you know, he's going to get the jab. Yeah, why? Why isn't he like? Um, why is he getting the jab when he? Could oh, anyway, give... we forgot. We forgot to. Uh, we forgot to congratulate the new leader of the far right, didn't we? Ah. Top cat. Oh yes, top cat. Congratulations on on your new role as. Uh, Leader of the extreme neon Nazi movement. Um, I'm, yeah. sh I'm sure it will go well, and there won't be any repercussions that are bad from this. Well, you mean top, top class? Top class, the first, a first, a first rate leader of men, isn't he? I mean, you know, he, he can he can negotiate with people. Uh, he can read a room correctly. Um, he can tell you what he he, he he can discuss things with you. I mean, he, he's absolutely. Uh, Look, you, you he, might... He's, he's, he's Bob on, isn't he? You, you might be saying to yourself... Oh, that, the motion's wild, wild, isn't it? Yeah. You, you might be saying yeah, to yourself... Yeah, I mean... So, have you noticed he's picking up all these negative traits that he... Th well, you know, Hitler used to like laying on the floor and being kicked kicked to fucking ribbons by a bird. That And, and he ran the Third Reich, so that means that's a good thing, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> well, the other thing I, I would suggest <laughs> about that as well is the fact that... Um, you ever noticed that? Fuck, I've forgotten it now, and it was actually in the fair oh, sorry, mate. thing. Nah, it's all right. I'm I'm just going to carry on. Uh, Winston, Winston Churchill had crippling alco alcoholism, so I'll, I'll copy that. 
Yeah. So what he's going to do, he's going to pick all these traits of, of, of leaders, various ah. leaders through time. Like Probably the worst traits. Oh, gone then, Hobbit, you remembered. I remembered, yeah. So, just because he can't lead himself doesn't mean he can't lead others. Whoever said leading <laughs> and mastering yourself was a prerequisite to be a leader of men. You don't know anything about leadership, Hemi. You can't lead mm. anybody, except for the fact well, that... Well, I, I just declared myself leader. Well, yeah, you're the son. And, and, all, and all of the drooling, brainwashed retards below me did it, like especially Phil, who does yeah. whatever I tell him to. Well, you're not leader, Hemi. That's why you've brainwashed everyone into thinking you're a leader. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> See? Phil's not around, obviously, to speak for himself. He do, Phil doesn't want to speak up against me because he's uh, Yeah, Hemi, you don't want to do him. anything. You don't want to have these like public meetups and do like a British <laughs> Charlottesville. What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? Yeah, you know, why the, fu why the fuck haven't we done any meetups in the past year? Yes. I mean, there's been nothing stopping us, has there? Not at all. Actually, that's a good question. Why haven't we been doing meetups? Yeah. Uh, because I'm la because we're all lazy and scared and like living in our bedrooms. Oh, we're cowardly simps. That's it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I forgot for a yeah. minute that I was a cowardly simp, but I've remembered now. Yeah. Did you know how yeah. not to be a cowardly? I got oh. it, Phil. I was going to say, um, yeah. I mean, yeah. You've got to meet up. You've got to go to the Battle Buzz, Britain's first. Cry, cry on stream. I, I know right. how not to be a cowardly simp. The way to not be a cowardly simp is when you get invited for sex over with uh, an attractive woman who fancies you and has made it yeah. out obvious and then pays for your, your transport fare so that you can come over is not to do it. That's that's what a leader does, is not no, have sex with women. Yeah, but then again, if you have sex with a woman, the thing is, is that women put dicks in their mouths, which means if you have sex with them, that's gay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, it's like I, having sex with well, you're yeah, putting a dick in a woman. That that definitely means, you know, if you're a top cat and you're putting your dick in a woman, that definitely means she's gay. Girls are gay, Hemi. You cook. Yeah. Girls, girls, girls are gay. Girls have cooties. See what, what what you do is you use women as beards, and then you just emotionally fucking try, you just try and emotionally destroy them, don't you? But then yes. again, that's just more lies from the thirty-seven, isn't it? Against against Top Cat's perfectly unblemished record of uh, of being a, <laughs> being the the yeah. leader of the race. Like the lie of we weren't going to talk about him because it's sad, and then it's like, well, you know, we we could talk about other things like um, uh, Tony Blyer, but I don't like him that much. Mm. So. The thing is, is that it's funny. I'm entertained by watching Top Cat meet. Oh, oh yeah, there, there is that. But oh, I tell you what, Tony Blair has never been sick on himself in public. <laughs> I've got Wait. some advice for Toppy. It, it's up, not across. Oh. I'm not going to tell him in what context that is, but it, just, just remember it's up, not across. Mm. Don't try and hang yourself. You're too, you're too fat to do that. You'll just pull your fucking wallet. Yeah, break the rope. <laughs> <laughs> He'll, he'll pull one of them beams out from his fucking posh posh flat. He might, and then yeah. he'll land on and, and squash uh, Bart he'll Simpson, pull, won't he? He'll pull through the exposed brickwork and fucking his, his yeah. sex will fall out fucking bar. One thing I was, I was curious about this morning when I was, I was watching that stream, Phil, is um, in that one, Top Cat's got no beard, but then in, in later videos you see he has got a beard. Like, oh, how, yes, how long did does. it take for that facial hair to grow? Because I'm not talking about, like... Uh, See, I'm not gay. I have a woman that's willing to have sex with me. Oh. So I, I, he, has to, he has to do this thing where he has to overcompensate for his masculinity. Probably because he, he dresses up like a fucking lady boy or something. I don't know. Just make his shit up as we go along. <laughs> that's okay. I do the same thing. Well, we lies anyway, Phil, so let's just go wild with it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, there's no, there's no proof There's no proof that he has two-hour phone calls with Ashley, Ashley Simon, is there? Yeah, there's no proof of that. No, he does. Yeah. He, that's, uh, I don't hate the guy or anything. I think he's all right, but it's also funny. Uh oh this is very funny. And the problem is, is that he fucking started it. Don't you find so, it annoying, though? Uh, no, I think it's fucking hilarious. Okay, I find him annoying. I don't find him annoying. I find him. I find it funny. Okay. Um, it's like when he tried that Richard Gear shit. It was like, oh, you think you're Richard Gear? It's like, yeah, I do. Actually, that was yeah. that was really funny. That oh, that was yeah. an attempt at trying to be like us, but because he's a psychopath and doesn't really understand humor, it fucking fell flat on its face. Then that yeah, he doesn't understand my ego. It's like, oh, what you think you're Richard Gear? It's like, yeah, I fucking do actually. I do. Yeah, think you've I'm just, you've just called me Richard Gear, Tuppy. 
<laughs> you've just you've just That's said I'm rich, you've just said I'm Richard Gere and I'm a Chad and and I'm, and I'm in the army right, and that's an right. and that's an own is it Toppy? Right, you've got a big dick and ladies want to fuck you. So yeah. okay, I'll go with that. Gay. <laughs> gay boy. You want to be like me? A fucking loser. What are you? You Pretty play Nintendo? We're with the cool kids with <laughs> Sega. What you mean? You don't have a Bart Simpson doll on your bed, you fucking gay? <laughs> yeah, you want to be a sexual Tyrannosaurus like me? Do so- you even wipe your dick on? <laughs> oh no! He's definitely wiped. Come on, that fucking <sighs> bird. What's he? Uh, well, top cat. I, 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 bet it lo- I bet it looks like it's been dipped in a bucket of wallpaper paste, doesn't it? That oh. fucking Bart Simpson. Oh. The DOA could have been it as well, since you'd be gone. Top cat, why is, there, why is that Bart doll covered in Aster? <laughs> that's not, that's looks not like a paint. Tumbler. I bet it looks like a painter's steps, doesn't it, doesn't it Phil? I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a doll. <laughs> 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 You lying, stop lying. <laughs> Do I stop lying? Why are you lying? You liar. You lying, mate. I didn't sick I wasn't sick of myself, I spat on the carpet, mate. Insulting insulting Flossy for like fucking an hour. And I yeah. said, you just insulting Flossy. He's like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking happens, you fucking knobhead. <laughs> no, it if you're gonna lie about shit, it has to be shit that happened a yeah. bit further than half an hour ago. You know, like, like when, like when he told us that that he'd had two hour a two hour phone call with Ashley Simon in VC. That's what he needs to lie about. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Uh, was there other news? It was like oh, drunk talking. Did I did I put in a thing in potential stories or was I like oh I can't be bothered? Let's have a look in potential <coughs> stories and see if I did do anything because I'm, I might have done. There might there might actually Can we be. We check the NPC daily. There, there might be what what the pink news. No, the Metro. Oh okay. Has everyone awesome. forgotten about okay. Sasha Johnson? Oh yeah, I don't care about it. David Beckham now owns a car company. See okay. Oh yeah, that's it. Secrets of the Why and the Suicide of Soul Adler. So, oh th- shit! Yeah, Hobbit. We like we were chatting. Hobbit shows me this photo because ah, oh, this dude Sol Adler. So then I look at Sol Adler's Wikipedia and it's fucking hilarious. Well, m- more 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 pertinent than that, I was just saying, hey, look at this creepy guy on the left of uh, Chairman Mao. He looks like the Mentat Fufa Howard and David Lynch's June. Um, <laughs> so, I am going to do a. Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't know how Can to... Can Topcat watch his though? Yeah, you know, when you're on Pornhub and you see those adverts for, like, Simpsons porn and stuff, do you reckon yeah. he actually clicked on that? Oh, yeah. He's he straight in there. Up. Right. Yeah, what yeah, do you reckon actually... the most degenerate cartoon porn he watches? Do you reckon he watches a bit of uh, Rick and Morty porn, do you? Oh, yeah. I think he watches uh, Simpsons porn. No, definitely. Uh, fucking Marge Simpson getting railed. Uh, oh, Sonic. No, no probably, probably Bart, Bart or Homer getting railed, I reckon. <laughs> Lenny and the black lad going at it. That's probably what he does. C- Carl. There were people walk in. They go, "Fucking hell, top cut." He did. Oh, it's a joke. It's just a joke. <laughs> standard, <laughs> sh- standard, <laughs> mate. Stop lying. You're lying. Stop lying. Oh, Why are you lying? See, it, top cut. I'm your internet provider. We've, we've. You're lying again. Lying again. <laughs> <laughs> so here we here we go. We we got ourselves a uh, a secrets of the why, and let, let's read this out then. Um, so first of all, we're going to need a picture of uh, Sul Adler. And is there any in this picture? No, that's not Sol Adler. That's not Sol Adler. That's not Sol Adler. I mean, there isn't a picture of him in his wiki either. It, yeah, it's weird. And th- there's this photograph of Mao Zedong and Sol Adler. So. Uh, you know, let you me better tr- watch it. You know, better not having a pop at Mao Zedong. Okay, okay. Well, it's yeah. just the fact that his 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 advisors are not Chinese. They they're not they're not. So and no no no, because Solomon Adler was very adamant that he doesn't like sticking his nose into for, into foreign countries' business. Oh, that's right. He he didn't stop want- lying, Hobbit. Yeah, no, that's right. I need I need to read the article because it it mm. it actually you know. 
it shows that I'm just wrong. And uh, I'm really, really wrong. And I could, why can't I find a picture? So, so let's try and find Adler with Mel Z. Dog. Do the Batman. Yeah. No, not like that, Top Cat. That's not how we meant. Here we That's go. That's not how you do the Batman. Found a picture of um oh, you sure? of so Solomon Adlar. So hang on. So that's a picture of Solomon Adlar, but uh, there's a photograph there, and do the Batman. <laughs> so, hang on, is Solomon Adler the one on the far left here? Who's the one who's just to the left of Chairman Mao? Because that guy there with those bushy eyebrows, that like whoever did like the costume. Oh, that design, wasn't Solomon Adler then. Whoever did the costume design for that guy was like that. Foo for how it's going to look like this guy who's not Solomon Adler. So, who am I looking? At? Henry De Harry Dexter White, and V Frank. So, uh, Adler strongly plays the gold loan program of two hundred million dollars. Oh, Solomon Adler looks like the hitman from The Rocketeer. So th this is him. Yeah, a bit smaller than the hitman from The Rocketeer. Uh, yeah. He oh, he's the big, he's a big lanky one, isn't he? So he was born on the sixth of August, nineteen o nine, in Leeds, England. The Adler family originally from Karelitz in Belarusia, moving to Leeds in nineteen hundred. Solomon oh, Phil's not going to like this one. It, so he was the fifth of ten children. The oldest was Saul Adler, who became well known Israeli parasitologist. So someone who studies parasites. Older study <laughs> economics. <laughs> Irony. Yeah. <laughs> he just held a mirror up himself. Adler yeah. studied Ooh. economics at Oxford in University, Ooh, too soon, Hobbit. <laughs> University College London. He came to... It's all right, he's dead. He came to the United States in 1932 to do research. In 1936, he was hired at the Works Progress Administration's National Research Project, but soon moved to the Treasury Department's Division of Monetary Research and Statistics, where he worked with Harry Dexter White for the next several years. Uh, became naturalised United States. Terry Dexter citizen. White, a serial killer, because he's got three names, and that usually means they're a serial killer. Well, he did help with the Chinese thing, where millions of Chinese died, and everyone. C agreed. Serial killer, killer, or serial killer. Well, ev everyone agreed, like millions of Chinese people are dying, and uh, the Chinese are happy about this. So you know, can't argue it. But I want to know in this photograph, who is that? So who is who is this? For what is that photograph? If I go back to the search results, what is that? What is that? Who is that? Who are, who are these guys? You try tagging them on Facebook. <laughs> Don't think it works, but is there a can I do like a reverse image search? Is that, is that going to work? Um, let's see if I can do it. Can I do rev? Oh, I'd happy if I could spell reverse. Reverse image search. Let's do that. Oh, the images are reverse image search. That's good. Search with an image on Google. Um, no. Search an image on Google computer. No, that's not what I want. Tin eye reverse image search. Paste or enter image URL. Right, so copy image link. Do that. I mean, he's the short guy. I, t I can't tell because he looks completely different in when he's older. Well, this and I is mean completely different. Yeah. So I mean, that's like, uh, 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 is that that Mark? I don't know. I don't know. Tri Trevor London. G genetic disorders. Info. Oh, okay. What's what's this photograph doing on genetic cause? Oh, it's. This is this is spams. Uh, blog down, blog down in internet. Let's have a look at that. And ah, oh, we have some ching chong ping pong. So I'm sure that's good. Traveludon. dot com. Let's have a look at that. Panetta report. New signing the chart. Okay. So where else does this image occur? Because. I would like to know, and I'm sure the chat would like to know, who is the guy that looks like a mentat with the big bushy eyebrows? 
Um, yeah, because that's not Solomon Adder. Oh, oh! You said anyone seen what Voodoo Media's put in? What's that? Oh, Ooh. she's getting sued. Who? Nice. Oh, who's who? How? How? What? 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 Mm. Hap- what's uh? What's he getting sued over? Who's suing him? Uh, can you, you tell us, Voodoo? Oh. Voodoo, Voodoo, please, please. This is good news. Uh, Voodoo, you gotta come join our Discord, mate. Right. Let's. Uh, so I'm. I'm. I'm gonna have a look here. Uh, unwashed sued. Let's see what Google says. No, Nick Cotton sued. Okay, let's, let's try. I don't think it will be on Google Nick though, will it? Co- cotton washed sued. No. Um, Nick Cotton Wikipedia. Fictional character from EastEnders. EastEnders. Dot Nick Cotton played by June Brown, John Altman. So, okay, back to the game, because I can't find out any more information about that. And we all want to see what's going on now. I found the sexiest solicitors in the city of London are revealed. Oh, yeah. Oh, apparently he slandered a guy called AHC on the Academic Agent stream. And g'day, mate. G'day, mate. Hmm. How you doing, Bjarki, mate? Hmm. Well, you know, um, I guess putting your face out there works, guys. <laughs> yep. yeah. Show your face nationalism and get fucking sued. Show your face, guys. Show your face, guys. You two can end up like unwashed. Fabul- uh, fabulous is that, prizes Is the AA stream still up? Apparently AA got loads of fucking stick for that, didn't they? Fabulous prizes to be won. And yep, all all good stuff. Hmm. So I need garbage. So why can't the garbage from there? Oh, it's go still up here. And simps and gimps. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to download that one before it disappears. Yep. Prudent. Very prudent. Isn't it funny all these people who are just kind of generally assholes having legal problems? It is very interesting to me. Oh, well, you're just. It's funny how him and Brutus have legal trouble at the same time, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost like they're working together. Really? No. So, refute these calumnies. Yeah, Unwashed hasn't got enough assets for anyone to sue him, TBF. Looks like he's stuck in his mum's bedroom. Oh yeah, he might lose his speaker. His DJ equipment. Yeah. Oh, are they going to take away his cereal bowls? Man. Well, his mum, his mum has to every day. I mean, I bet a fucking back's killing her, isn't it? Having to bend down, pick, pick them. I bet they, they go right under the bed as well and collect all the fluff and the, and the and the spoons fucking welded to the bottom by by Frosties, isn't it? Ugh. Ugh. That's. <laughs> That is, uh, yep, that's, that is, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks nice. Shall I have a go with another that? Tri- another triumph for show you face nationalism then, isn't it? Oh, Hemi, are you insinuating that there, there might be a flaw oh, to this Oh, shit, he slandered Ooh. the guy who Lucy made a full sexual assault claim against. This guy is a multi-millionaire. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh, if he has no, ass- if they, if he has no assets, they could, he could go to prison. Fuck. So this is a libel suit, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, oh dear. Unwashed, unwashed daddy's rich. Well, I don't know how rich. Who do? I can't imagine a slander trial's fucking cheap. And if he and if he loses it, hmm. if he loses it, then he's gonna get saddled with the other guy's costs. Can I ask Phil? Did anybody watch the actual stream? Because I couldn't do four hours of that shit. No, I haven't. I that feels gone. Yeah. Did you watch any Nordic? See there? Nordic, you muted, dude. Yeah, man. Say hi. Ah. 
So, chat. Sorry, I'm 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 being a bit uh, quiet at the moment. I'm just um, don't have much to say. Pretty pretty worn out. It's been an interesting interesting. Feel that he's he's got he's got to miss the fucking keynote. What did you say then, Hemi? Uh, it, no, we were just talking about unwashed. We we're wondering no, where Phil was. To, you asked if I'd watch something. Oh yeah, do you watch the academic agent stream? Um, I watched Phil's replay of it. I like. I, I was. I'm really angry that Nick made me agree with academic agent. Is academic agent Arab or he? He sounds a little bit like he's Banksy. Persian. I think he's like he half Persian. Yeah, you, you can tell it. You can tell in the voice, can't you? Yeah. I could tell because he sounds like Banksy for me, Banksy style. But yeah, them them solicitors rates aren't cheap for uh, all unwashed. That's probably going to be two, three k sinker every time he goes to see his solicitor. Like they want money every single time, and that's not just consultate. That's you got two k consultation fee, which is where you go in and you speak to the solicitor and they see if they can actually deal with it for you or not. Like I remember when Sargon got taken to court, um, or he took someone to court. Um, the legal fees were through the roof. They were like up near the 100k region. And the yeah. person who who tried to sue Sargon had to actually pay those legal fees because they lost the case. She had to pay those legal fees and she was entitled, she was, um, asked to pay up to a hundred thousand or just over a hundred thousand. And Sargon had pretty much crowdfunded all of his, um, money to pay his legal fees so that Andrew Shit. Case like stuck in his pocket mate <laughs> oh dear you, know, you heard the news what's the news I, I did just see that I did just see that uh, no, another win for show your face nationalism and and what oh, yeah. she's getting done for slander good <laughs> why why um, what did he say exactly uh, something on the academic agent stream about the guy that allegedly raped or I'll, I'll say I'll say allegedly because I, I, although I think he's cleared but um, the guy that allegedly raped uh, Lucy Lucy thingy rape, rape, Lucy Brown rape, rape, oh, rape, 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 so he's rape, cleared rape. on all charges and then she she uh, he's saying that he didn't or something uh, yeah something uh, something well, like that I hope you like jail or mosh you can meet yeah. all the hippies you want in there mate Get a good old it's just plumbing. before the four hour mark um, okay then so I can play this Downloaded it. Yeah, we much spent, you, I don't suppose you've got a timestamp, have you? Because we don't want to listen to any more of this than we actually absolutely have to. Yeah. Fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. Are you telling me it's a bit. Uh, a I'll bit put boring. it on a 355 then. This is just a wee bit boring. How long is it? <laughs> 404, it's, so... It's not necessarily that it's boring, it's that fucking... Between the two of them, they've got shit takes, but Unwashed has got even shitter takes. Truly yeah, yeah. a joy but to let's... behold. I think that's a bit condensed, maybe. <laughs> Play Voodoo's thing, that way you won't get struck. Voodoo Media! Alright, here we uh, go. I could always, uh, you know... I can switch to my Stalin one at, uh, at any time. Red Hawk says, "AA, hey, go look into the rise of she economy study. By 2030, 52% of women will be single and childless for their entire lives. That's a very big number. Uh, Red Hawk says, women in the workforce, two times labor and of halved wages. So is this AA all you wanted to says, talk about then, women? Lynx owns IP and you are going to own... It's oh, just saying. Voodoo's, um, Voodoo's done a video Dilla about it. Says, I can save us having to listen yeah, to it I agree live. with you on the age difference, AA. My aunt is in her early 70s. Oh. Right, let's try this then. They have the shit to take. Can't hear anything. HC says... Oh, oh, can't. Lucy Brown I can't. You can hear it now. Yeah. I don't know what that? Oh, no. I, I would turn it like, I've, I've tried to say it a couple times, but like... There are some people that do need banning because there are criminal investigations about, about them. AHC, who's paid you £6.66, is one of them, and Voodoo Media is another. And it's like, when I say these are actual criminals with investigations on their name, 
Oh, 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 uh, so this is from Demon Links. To unwashed, who public co- publicly called AHC a criminal, and that will be addressed with legal action. Your girlfriend is a hate-filled, sacked employee of ours, uh, ours is who, who is now trolling us. She was sacked for many reasons, all of which I doubt you're aware of. Uh, if you want to know the truth or find out how much we would genuinely fund you, we suggest you talk to us rather than your troll girlfriend, as she lies and lies and lies and lies and lies and lies. We have a, we have multiple witness statements and have been through all of the regulated process there'll be further legal actions to follow as you see must seem to need us to prove the point ahc so this is from alison bardo not demon not a demon links lin, not a demon links limited employee hmm. so that's a quote from her so it, that's that interesting You know what I'd like to know? It's it's a Sunday. So where, yeah. where, where's my where's my skooky? Where's skooky? Oh, my legal defense fund. Hold on. Where's my skooky? Skooky, where you, are you? You might want to help me out with my legal defense fund. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story. Don't slander a multi-millionaire, guys. If so, if someone's just been arrested and they've, you know, there's loose charging and they've not been to court, shut your mouth because yeah, you are a criminal. In, can't be taken to court. <laughs> well, you can't say they're a criminal until they've been convicted of a crime, it, it, even it, if they're charged. In addition to that, I think I, I probably won't. This isn't a charge you will be facing, but isn't there something like where you talk about something like that you could be perverting the course of justice? Technically if, speaking, yeah. yeah, that's what that's what Robinson got. That's what Tommy Robinson got done for, weren't it? When it when he was reading out. Apparently, there, there's nuance with that, isn't there? Although he was reading it out during the sentencing phase, there was still another trial to go that was linked to it. Was there or something? Yeah, yeah, that's why it got yeah. done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was a separate case to be held, and that's why. But then, why are the BBC yeah. allowed to comment on it? So you know, you can't have like because they've got certain protections, and the BBC have got mm-hmm. an entire fucking legal department that they throw. They weren't out. They weren't outside, outside yeah. the courtroom though. That, that's what's stipulated. It says you're not allowed to be on outside the courtroom. The BBC weren't outside the courtroom. That's what it was. Well, that if you notice working? the BBC and stuff, they always stand on the other side of the street to the courthouse. Mm. I don't, I don't <laughs> think oh, it's that part of it, then, is it? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, another uh, another win for show your face nationalism. Yeah, show your face, I, I don't care, I've got nothing to fear. Yeah, show your face, Welcome, mate. I've got jail. nothing to fear except my dad's bank balance. Well done, unwashed, mate. Well done, fam. If you well, might, if, well, I don't think they'll touch it. They won't touch his dad's bank balance. He'll just go jail. Yeah, I, I think unless his dad's been unless like, his dad gives him the money. I, d- I don't think that's. Oh, dad, happen. dad, I don't want to go to jail. All oh, the bigger boys are there. Da- his dad, his dad might have to settle out of court. <laughs> the problem is, if he settles out of court, we won't know what we won't know. He settled out of court, will we? That's the only problem. Don't settle and watch. Stand by your principles and get bombed. Yeah, don't really? settle yeah. for the prison and get get bummed in the showers for dropping the soap. Be, be somebody's Bart Simpson, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I caramba. You guys are nasty. Keep uh, your hair long as well. Make sure you keep your hair long. Yeah. Too oh, aggressive yeah, they, you as well. You can always but, pretend to be a tranny and go and protect some women. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't tell him that. Call himself Nicola. Nicola yeah, and be the bunny. <laughs> Nicolette. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get butt- but here's the thing on wash, you'll get battered even in a women's prison, you'll get battered in yeah. any prison. That's worse so than a men's they- prison. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have some butch dyke fucking st- shanking you. Can you imagine when he starts, starts coming over, I know what I know what women think. <laughs> oh Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just gonna <laughs> piss in the potatoes, aren't they? They're just going to yeah. do steaming shit in all of his food. 
They're gonna piss, they're gonna try they're gonna crush up glass and put it in his mashed potatoes. He's fucked. <laughs> Inject oranges so with, with bleach. Do that. Speaking of, speaking of shitting on the floor, uh, what, is Toppy doing his his idiot streams every Saturday now and then, is he? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. But You're going on again now, you are gonna go fucking but, jet. If he mentions my name, oh well. But if he doesn't, no, I, I don't know. Eh? There's a bit of me that wants to leave him alone, but there's a bit of me that's fucked up in the head and likes watching people suffer. So that's 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 you know. So we'll, well see. In the, case, we? in the case of him, let's face it, watching him suffer is like it's kind of funny. Got him there. Well, he ain't suffering. He's he enjoys this. He fucking wants. He he starts it. He makes streams with my name, man. He's a bit of a masochist, I didn't fucking isn't he? do that. He, he's like he's he's like he's like that hedgehog <laughs> that was attacked by my dog. He's curled up into a little ball. And he's got a fucking massive boner right now because we're attacking him. <laughs> he fucking has, yeah. He's fucking Happy rage, rage shagging Bart Simpson. That he head top of the hedgehog. That hedgehog is, is, is fucked up. I mean, but hey, you know, he dresses up like Marge when he when he fucks Bart. <laughs> no, he dresses up as Homer. He's like, do you think he strangles that? that? Noise. Do you think he strangles that doll like uh, like Homer does? Yeah, he probably does. Yeah, <laughs> chokes it out. Yeah, little bitch, little fucking bitch. Oh, I'm gonna show you who's really a fucking faggot, Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Keep my shots, Holly. Front to back in a rock like motion. He is gonna do the Batman, isn't he? No, that's not how to do the Batman top cat. <laughs> it's do the Batman, not do Batman. Mm. I'll eat shorts. <laughs> I'll eat your shorts. Do you reckon he's got him some edible shorts so he can eat his shorts? I'm going to eat his shorts. Probably, got, po oh. probably, got, po probably got pocket pussy inside a bar, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I can never watch the Simpsons again now. You ruined it. Toppy's ruined it. Toppy's ruined the Simpsons. <laughs> Every time, you, every time you notice something in Toppy's house, my childhood gets ruined. <laughs> Weird though. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows what he does? Like the thing is, is that this is just like shit we found out. He yeah. could he could dress up like the Simpsons if all he fucking know. Well, he's walking around the house like Professor Frank. <laughs> no, a yellow no a yellow fucking paint on. Like, <laughs> that's why that's why that's why he eats pump bastardo. <laughs> no way. I could just imagine oh, as, he's, yeah. as he's like, uh, as he's doing it with the doll, he listens to the theme tune and he's got it timed so that just at the end of it, that's when he comes! I'm afraid he chucks it in the cupboard after though, he's like, chuck it in the cupboard, I'm a fucking degenerate. And then he'll make videos like, here are my top 10 boxes. I'm definitely a normal masculine man. I'm not fucking weird in any way. I'm not compensating for something. No. I'm not overcompensating. I'm, not I'm straight as fuck, I am. Standards. That's top, God. Standards, mate. Why I'm, why I'm shaving myself for my one true love, boys. Well, he's got to find oh, somebody who's into that shit. Oh, the chances of him yeah, finding yeah. it. Do you know? Can, can you imagine looking into like the fucking the Manchester Herald when we find out what Toppy's full name is, okay. and just seeing the fucking endless court cases for fucking stalking <laughs> and fucking battering women? It's probably not just women too. <laughs> little boys as well, little yellow boys. That's why. That's why you need to be careful, pump bastarder. <laughs> he's like Jeffrey Dahmer. He's he got a little uh, runaway Chinese kid fucking all the cops on. <laughs> yeah, I've nearly got the stream and stuff down, boys. Fucking, I think we're almost ready to go, you know. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna say he's like he's like Quagmire, you know, where the car crashes, little Chinese boys run out of the car. But I remembered he's a bus <laughs> wanker, and he can't even yeah. fucking can't even drive a fucking car, can he? The the fucking Ubermensch, the Ubermensch, the Ubermensch. Can you give us a lift, Mitch? He's gonna blow on the breathalyzer built into the ignition. <laughs> that that was. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what made me, I'll come to the hospital with you, Floshy. And it makes me like, what, are you going to fucking take her on the bus, are you, dickhead? What fucking use are you to help her, help her to the fucking hospital, knobhead? Oh, you don't I'll give you a piggyback. Me. I'll give you a I'll piggyback. 
Looks flossy, <laughs> mate. He's fucking mule. Mule. Mule kicking while she's on the back of him. Yeah. See? Stop it, stop it, Tom do some mule kicks you, on my way I'll there. I'll let you ride on me. I'll let you, I'll give you backy. I'll let you ride on me stump pegs, Flossy. <laughs> Flossy, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking bots. Oh, so, are we are we ready to do some pink news in honour of Top Cat? See, see what yeah. that's like. Yeah, please. Okay, let, let, let's, let's find out if there's anything on pink news worth talking about, so... Do we have to? Not no. Well, yeah, because if we don't, then yeah, you know, we have to because it upsets Toppy. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the reason why I do it now. I mean, it, up, it upsets I'm myself, straight. but you know, if we, it's like oh shit. Just before we do that, have you seen that uh, that that um, Harry's fucking second brune spawn has been born, and it's called Lily Bet Diana? What a fucking faggot, isn't he? That's a gay that's name. It. Ah, oh, here we go. It is is something. Model railway brand Hornby agrees to donate to LGBT+, plus, the plus stands for paedophile courses, after fierce backlash to Pride Month okay. cash-in. Ah, yeah, th this this is for bus wankers like Toppy. Model railway brand... Uh, lesbian gay. Yeah. Lesbian gay by and Toppy. Yeah. That's what it means, yeah. though. Yeah, there's, yeah they've been doing that for the last couple of years now. They made an... Oh, LA. shit! How about this one then? Anti-vaxxers targeting children across the country with fake NSPCC leaflets and COVID sceptic rap music have vowed to hit schools and vaccine centres okay, five okay. days a week all, sur all summer. The wait, 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 wait. Emmy, 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 Emmy. What? Well, we could do that after we do about the gay train, which takes them oh, to, to the gay camp. So, oh, well, let me just finish this when I've started now. Okay. So a group calling itself <laughs> Foot Soldiers Number Four Freedom. So uh, what are we guessing about this group? They're not Fathers for Justice. They're they're they're, they're blegs. They're blegs. Ah, oh, okay. Are they? See, this this is what you get the left when you've been telling blacks for years and years and fucking years the government's institutionally racist and it's trying to fucking kill you. This is what happens, Larry. This is what happens, Larry, when you try and fuck white people in the ass. Oh no. To be fair, I am I am pretty sure that they're trying to make our children infertile. Like, why mm. else have they just brought out the COVID jab for twelve to fifteen year olds? That is normal. That is a normal I, thing to I'm, do. I'm really worried about this, man. Like, Why are you this you're worried? Of kids out there. Take and the parents, jab and if relax. If parents say no, no, we're not doing it, then what are they going to do? They're going to send social services around, aren't they? And social services are going to come take your kids away from you. On a side note, apparently Toppy's into women's rights now. Women's rights oh. and lefts. Am I right? <laughs> hey. Hey, you fell for that one. So, is, is, there, is there more to the story? Um, I'll burn your bra. No, that's it. I just thought, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. Right, so... Uh, oh, no, no. Hold on. One more. Shamima Beckham says... No, she only no, no, no. Take your time. Being, being the only we're, to, friend we're doing this in turns. No, no, no. Play no. the chocobo. You can, Play the chocobo. You, you can do so. that another time. We're doing a Top <laughs> Cat story now, Hemi. LGBT plus. What that stands for is Large Gay Bunder Top yeah. Cat Plus. The plus stands for paedophile. After the Rainbow Pride fan was condemned as a hollow marketing ploy. The new model. I'm staying, speaking to you. I'm listening to Everlasting Love. No, you're listening to Pink <laughs> News. Brought to you by Pink <laughs> News. That's what you're listening to, Top Cat. The new model unveiled at the start of Pride Month <laughs> features the six color <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> it, so. So, the start of the Pride Month features the six-colour Noahide flag because a rainbow comprises seven colours with the words Pride and Love is Love, yet offered no proceeds to the Large Gay Bum de Top Cat Plus charities. The plus stands for Pudophile. In a statement released on Thursday evening, the company apologised to the Large Gay Bum de Top Cat Plus, the plus stands for Pudophile community, and admitted, We have got this wrong. Following the launch of the Hornby LGBT... Still is the best fucking beer going. Hang on, what does, what does Large Gay Bunder Top Cat Why? Q Plus stand for? The Large... Ah, so the Large Gay... Does that, kind of gay does that kind of gay really exist? The Large Gay Bunder Top Cat Question... Yes. Yeah, 
you weak <laughs> pride wagon. You're a faggot. On Tuesday, and you're about to find out how much of a faggot very soon. We would like to say sorry, the company said. We have got the, ro the, the wrong end. No, we have got this wrong and deeply apologise. <laughs> Waving the flag is not enough. We must promote the large gay bummed top cat question plus the plus stands for pedophile community by donating the proceeds to the cause. So now we turn to you and ask where best within the community the proceeds should be donated. Again, we apologize to everyone who is offended. This was, of course, never our intention. And for that, we are sorry. Please keep on buying our train sets. The train sets of yeah. the the gay cattle car, which takes you to the gay pride camp, which is in Poland somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Please be advised. I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, Robert. I was oh, thinking about this yeah. the other day, and all all I could think of is if if people are gonna just constantly get offended every time a company comes out for LGBT, then then you might as well just lock up and never watch another, another advert because capitalism is always going to capitulate okay. to these people. I, I saw some. You, well, you said to me you said to me about the adverts we were watching, didn't you? <laughs> we had to tell you up for a bit. Uh, yeah, the the adverts are very uh, dark. Uh, is <laughs> no, there was there was something oh, I saw. There was no Christian. You know, I'm, I'm paying There's... a colour license, and all I get is black and white. It's fucking. It's a <laughs> liberty, mate. <laughs> There, there was something I saw. Oh, may, I, may I tell you what? I feel I can go on Twitter and I can, I can have. I've, there's a guy on Twitter, and all, all all there? Need to one know, guy. To be in the hope of is that we know that these people, none of these companies, believe in LGBTQ. They're just trying to sell trains. They're is just there, trying to sell videos, DVDs. Is there a way I can go on, on Twitter with like? Um, not Even Phil in. will tell you that. Like the capitalists uh, don't have an ideology, or they. They don't have a soul. Money. They're just greedy, just greedy, yeah, just greedy money, bastards. Money, 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 money. How can we? How in the month of June and July, which are the tw two Pride months in the two biggest Western nations, how can we make loads of money during this? And the way they do it is they say, I'm gay. Like all these CEOs, are like I'm gay now. And they're like, you're gonna fuck a man. Like, I'll fuck a man for a million quid. Uh, we've got a rainbow train, we've got a rainbow track, you can have a fucking rainbow flat fat controller. <laughs> rainbow wow. rainbow. Here we go. Rainbow rainbow. Well just just bear in mind the, these are Noahide uh, flags. They're, they're they're not they're not rainbows because rainbow has seven cars. Here we go. So there's this guy on, on Twitter called Shire Hobbit at Jam Tits. He seems alright. Uh, don't know who that is. No no idea who that might be. <clears throat> But he, 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 he definitely well, it is, it's a hobbit from the Shire, so that's what we know for sure. But he retweeted. Oh, it's a friend of yours. He re it's a family member. Wow, who know? Oh, can't say. I can either confirm or deny this. Nine-year-old uh, boy is Britain's youngest crack cocaine dealer. That's that's, that's, that's what happens when you. But, that's what happens when you have experiences with Toppy. I will. I will just. <laughs> I, will, I will read out this this tweet that he done. I'm going to bring some justice to you, lad. I'm going to clean these streets up. I will read out this tweet and what he done did, and this encapsulates Pride Month in its entirety. Aperture Science Announcement Voice. Congratulations, homosexual. Your existence has been deemed profitable for the following regions. North America, Western Europe, and Australia. To celebrate the oh, I, do, I do have a I do have an article for DOA after this. Yeah. Are you dating a narcissist? Five red flags you need to watch out for. <laughs> yes, we'll do that, definitely. To celebrate the occasion, we have temporarily recolored all aperture science appliances in these regions to your favourite flavour of gay. For further pandering on the wider area, please continue fighting for basic human dignities and aperture yeah, the science. The gays are starting to not like it now, aren't they? And aperture uh, science we right they see it as they see it as pandering now, don't they? I mean, like, you know, it's... Okay, it's too it took them a while, doesn't it? It's too bad we, yeah. ha we haven't got, like, some homosexuals here who could say that, yeah, I think this is just a cynical marketing ploy that sees me as a commodity and a, and a demographic that has been exploited. But anyway, five signs you're a narcissist. You got, you got a link for us. I'll put it in the potential stories. All right, I'll, I'll have a look at... Oh, uh, God. While, it... while, while we don't have a homosexual here, I was watching a video where they were talking about all this pride stuff, and the guy turned around and said that he actually turned, he, he was actually bisexual. And he said that um, actually he, he feels that all of this stuff is just... It's corporate greed. He's like, you're not you're not appealing to anyone, especially not anyone in the LGBT community. And I'd consider myself one of them. 
and then he turned around and said um, that the, the opinions that his friends have are the same as his. That actually they know they know they're being pandered to. Like the only people that really are, are on board with this LGBTQ pride bullshit are people who are politically gay. They're not actually like they don't consider themselves to be gay. They've just you know they they go oh I'm gay but they they've never slept with someone. You know, these mm. sorts of people, the, the fake ones, you know what I mean. The people that like fake they've had abortions, the people who fake they've been pregnant, the people who fake everything just for a bit of attention in the why, world. Why would somebody do that? Uh, that's <laughs> lies. Tupcat told me that's all lies. It's not. <laughs> yeah. It's people are fucked up in the head, Hobbit, mate. <laughs> oh, that bit I noticed. Are you dating a narcissist? Five red flags you need to watch out for. Yeah, she's bored. Bored again. Guess who's bored, bored again? Phil, I think that sounds like a you problem there. You're sitting... <laughs> uh, Phil, get your wallet out, pal. <laughs> get your wallet out, this is going to cost you, she's bored. Can't let, we need a new iPhone. You're, you're seeing opposite handsome, charismatic, well-dressed to date, and feeling like the luckiest girl in the world. Aww. Not only is this incredible man interested in you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know someone who dated a dated a narcissist, and uh, and she said that to start at the start of a relationship, he was love bombing her. Not yeah, only is this in incredible man yeah. interested in you, but he shows you with praise and even cares enough to help you choose from the menu. Beware! Did this prince charming rescue you when you're particularly vulnerable? Does the conversation turn back to him all the time? Is he estranged from his parents? And does he not talk to his own mother? These are no. I don't. I, I don't know anybody that fits any of these criteria. No, I wouldn't know. These are red flag warning uh. signs you could be in the clutches of a narcissist. Lockdown has increased their vice-like hold over the victims, allowing them to control finances, to gaslight, isolate, and eventually walk away. And they won't look back when they're done with you because narcissists lack any empathy. Uh. I'll have to have a look at a Venn diagram to see what the overlap between psychopathy and narcissism is. Uh, lockdown has been a narcissist paradise, says divorce lawyer to the stars and regular TV pundit Vanessa Lloyd Platt. They've, ha they've had their victims at their mercy, isolated and helpless. Calls to Floyd Platt's office. That's a stupid fucking name. I'm just going to call it Lloyd Pratt from that I think, one. I think the from female and male victims and narcissists have risen 30% over the past year. People are ringing me from their cars because that's the only place they can talk in private, she says, and they are desperate. Both genders and all age groups have fallen victim. I've seen many bright young women in their 20s or 30s who have been gaslighted by partners, a technique used by narcissists when they pretend their victims are going mad. In its extreme form, narcissism is a mental disorder and the impact on victims and their families is huge. Virtually all of my clients have fallen victim to these manipulative charmers say the same thing. I don't understand. They were so loving at the beginning. All I wanted is to go back to our early days. The victim is craving the love bombing that happened at the beginning of the relationship, but the narcissist turns the charm on and off, not capable of loving anyone except themselves. In order to function, Oof. a narcissist needs to have a victim, says, oh, okay, that's interesting, says therapist Paul Levrant. It's like an addiction and the victim is their fix, he says. But if a partner is too good to be true, starts to criticise you, makes you feel that everything that goes wrong is your fault, is prone to outbursts of rage and denial and you're being gaslighted and believe you're seriously flawed. Rage and denial? We don't know anyone like this, do we? Not at all. No. And if you're beginning to feel anxious, depressed or both, reach out for help from a trusted friend, yeah. family member, therapist or divorce lawyer. Lev Rant has seen a rise in victims and narcissism in his London practice. There's definitely been a rise in victims, and I don't know if this is because more people are aware of it and reporting it. Dating sites are the perfect environment for narcissists because they can create a web of deceit. This isn't just men manipulating women because it happens equally across both sexes, but a female narcissists are harder to spot. They're not blaming women for something, are they? Oh, goodness me, no. Wouldn't do that. I Narcissism know. is a spectrum of behaviour, and it's most extreme... <laughs> The five signs I've just read ahead of it. Yeah, oh, carry on, a bit. Well, you can do that, but then I get to it. No, uh, spectrum behaviour in its most extreme is a recognised mental oh, it's a shame disorder. Phil's not here. 
It has come about for any number of reasons, often linked with childhood trauma and abandonment. Narcissists aren't always conscious that they are acting in this way. Sometimes they simply can't help it because they're so needy they have to keep someone in their orbit, and they'll manipulate the person to ensure it happens. Narcissistic personality disorder is not always treatable, as Leverant. It can be managed via a combination of therapies, maybe even psychoanalysis, because people who have socially awkward disorders can learn by rote how to behave. Alternative advice there aren't just run for the hills. So, you're going to do the five signs of narcissism. <laughs> the five signs of narcissism. Now, absolutely nobody we know uh, is like this at all. Never taking any responsibility for their actions. Instead, they blame everyone else because they believe they are perfect. Well, it's not a belief. It's just knowledge of facts. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, lack of empathy. Their needs come before everyone else and every situation is managed to suit themselves. Of course. Oh, you mean, can you imagine knowing somebody like this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they pretend that things have happened when that, that haven't, such as, I gave you that money the other day. The aim is to make their victim doubt their own mind and instincts. That's gaslighting, sorry. Uh, pathological lying. They can have six affairs in a row and swear blind they've never cheated. They actually believe their own lies. Uh, extreme childhood. Narcissists may have been spoilt as a child or have ab have abandonment issues. Often, often as adults, they're estranged from their parents and sometimes siblings. Hmm. Lauren's story. I'd lost our baby and he just checked the football scores. Lauren Woods, not a real name, I assume that's what the asterisk is, 32 years old, <sighs> fortunately found the perfect partner, not, not husband, partner, when she met marketing yeah. boss Mark on a dating site. She says, on the first online conversation, it was as if... Marketing we... boss called Mark. That's quite funny. Hmm. Uh, as if we instantly clicked. We both felt it and we stayed up talking well into the night. I think I'd already fallen by the time we physically met at a restaurant a week later. But it was love at first sight for us both. Well, that's presumptuous on your behalf. To move in together after just three months seemed the most natural thing in the world to do. My mother absolutely adored him, and I was on cloud nine. But my sister Emma disliked and distrusted him, and the feeling was mutual. He said he was the life and soul of every party, but ultimately it was all about him. Mark would take the floor, say his bit, and have everyone laughing. But once he finished all, all of his stories, he'd bury his nose in his phone. He wasn't interested in hearing from anyone else. We started seeing less and less of my friends, and after about a year, things started to fall apart. Anything that could possibly go wrong was always somebody else's fault, usually mine. He never said sorry for anything, and there was always an elaborate story attached to anything... He blamed me for nagging, for picking on him. He said I was forcing him away. It only made me more desperate to please him. Oh, okay. When I fell pregnant... Uh, that sounds a lot like my ex. When I fell pregnant, I thought he'd be delighted, but his face just froze. He even asked if the baby was his, which was absolute madness. We were living together. Several months later, I was rushed from work to hospital with an ectopic pregnancy is that when the um pregnancy is in the fallopian tubes instead of the womb yes yeah oh yeah that's not good she needed emergency surgery to save my life and the doctors called mark i could hear from the phone call that he wasn't happy about being called to the hospital when he arrived i was in the recovery room i put up my hand and said i'm sorry but he was more interested in checking the football scores on his phone i was lying attached to drips and he suddenly said great because West Ham had scored. I knew then that he felt absolutely zero emotion. Well, that's not true. He was elated that West Ham had scored. Well, yeah. Was, yeah. That was more important than uh, the birth of his own child. Death uh, of his own child. Death of his own child. Yeah, that's oh. why she said, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought after seven months that might have been premature. Okay. No. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, I misread that one. I was lying attached to it. When I was discharged, I went to stay with my mother and texted Mark that it was over. He didn't argue. Instead, he texted a mutual friend and asked her immediately for a date. My heart was broken, and he just didn't care. I realised that despite the declarations, the crazy plans of the future and the flowers and the promises, he really was never in love with anyone other than himself. And yeah, it says Lauren's name has been changed. You know, oh, Jack Lauren's name has been changed from Daughter of Albion. The names of the innocent have been changed. 
you know, re- <laughs> reading that and like how it was a miscarriage, or, or they they, they did a, a surgery because it's like we can save the life of the mother. Um, I almost feel it's like like her body. Oh, we have the real Dylan Vokin. Like the body, Dylan Voak. Who's Dylan? The is that the, the Chaggart, father of Chaggart. Chaggart. We got the real Chaggart in. Wait, hang on. Who's who's the father? Is that Dylan or is that um, Dylan? Like, so one's the father and the other's the son. And like, is it Dylan? What's Chaggart's real name, Donny? That is his real name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, hello. We've got the real Chaggart in. Hello, Chaggart. Real paedophile. Well, <laughs> welcome to the JIGF Respecting Channel, where we talk about the rocket fod and how it was a huge success for Israel and. Uh, we yeah. hope that next year we'll, the rocket farm will be even bigger and better. And uh, we we are talking about matters that pertain to Israel, like narcissistic personality disorder. It's D- Delon to you. Well, D- it's D D Delon. Dylon. And he's at Real Chaggart on Telegram. So if you you got any questions yeah. for Chaggart, if you've watched the documentary about. Um, the book that his father did, torpedoing his chances of having a career, uh, sabotaging got, his son. I've got a question. i got a question. Why do you think that uh, being autistic is an excuse for shagging a 15... 15- no, 13-year-old. That's just disgusting. Yeah. Boy. How old was That's he? Disgusting. How old was he when he, he was... He was 18. But he reckons because mm. he's got autism, that means his mental his mental age is lower. No, it's not, mate. Well, I think don't even lie. Don't, the, I, I don't think try the, that. Code. The judge might say that was unacceptable, and it's worth a custodial sentence. And uh, I don't think I don't think eighteen is IIXX. No, eighteen is uh, X V I I I. Yeah, so well, it just goes yeah. to show how brain dead I am today. I can't even count in Roman anymore. Yeah. Fuck me, this is bad, isn't it? Yeah. Well, like all these, all these really fat, fat, purple-haired feminists that sit there screaming about LGBT and all that stuff. Didn't re- you didn't realise you're all PPP bull lickers. Do you do you know how we get those people? We get those people because idiots like you fucking molest kids. Well. Put, put it this way, uh, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan Voke. You know he absolutely. There's there's no, there's nothing gay going on between him and Bakes Alaska, is there? Put, oh, put, no, put no, it no, this no, way, no. Chaga. An- another another projector, just like Top Cat. Put it this you way, Chaga. After <laughs> hearing the reading, the excerpts of right. your I father's hope, book. I hope a baseball bat up your ass, covered in fucking rusty barbed wire. Mm, so. After re- after hearing PPP's reading of uh, your father's book, and being quite frankly disturbed by what I would describe oh, as uh, oh it's a, no no it's all right guys that he fucks a thirteen year old girl because he was a teenager. So, oh right right. So I got to say frank frankly, your father committed child abuse against you, so I'm somewhat sympathetic to your cause. But then again, on the other hand, you're an autistic twat who had sex with a 13-year-old when you were 18 and you're a monster and, frankly, you shouldn't be our problem, you shouldn't be Canada or USA's problem. There is a country yeah. for you and you should go there with all the other paedophiles. Yeah, it's and, called Israel. Go there. Yeah, we'll and you know. here in the JIGF Respecting Channel, we we got to say Israel is number one and the Iron Dome yeah. is a success and I'm looking yeah. forward to Rocket from 2022. Really, I'm looking forward to it. So, um, do we want to do more articles, or do you want more guys watching me play City Skylines? City Shushi. You do City Sky. You do City Skylines, and I'll just read out wait, wait, some wait, wait, uh, hang on, hang headlines hang on. from the I've Metro. I've got to read this headline, right? I'll read this headline. Yeah. X Gay Milo Yininipolis says dogs no longer bark at him, and he sees it as a sign from God. <laughs> dear me! <laughs> dear dear me! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Do you want to do? I make I make up to four grand no, a month selling my used on, underwear just, online. Just to see, look, um, real D D Sean folk, uh, Chagger. Uh, I understand that it is your fault. Uh, there are mitigating circumstances uh, as to why you're an amoral monster, and I feel sorry for you. But 
still, it's what, still your fault. It, it is still your fault. You are recognised legally as an adult, and uh, therefore you are responsible for your own actions. And one of the things you, you, as an adult, you're supposed to know by the age of 18 is that you can't have sex with 13-year-olds because then you will be thrown into prison and be on the sex offenders register because what you did is against the law. Uh, many people consider it morally reprehensible, which is probably why it's illegal. I assume the reason why it's illegal... I mean, speaking as a fellow autistic here with Asperger's, I'm assuming that because people find it disgusting, that's why there are laws to do it. Maybe it's also something to do with protecting the vulnerable because as a 13-year-old is not a fully functioning human being and is a bit, like, um, dumb, then, like, you're not supposed to have sex with them because it does something. Nah. Oh, it's JMK. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> oh, fucking dickhead. You, know? you have been going there, you absolute tosser. I was being yeah, respectful to him because he's a disgust. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say that because I just realised I've got Tommy Robinson on my shoulder and it's like, you're not saying one, kike. One of these days, yeah. I'm going to fucking pour a pint on fucking JMK. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves a dead leg for doing that, you hey, bastard. I, I think Damien, want, Damien wants to hear this story because he says, I pay up to 4K a month sniffing underwear I've bought online. Oh, so. That- Hang I on. make up to four grand a month selling my used underwear online. Do you want it ready for this one? Yeah, okay. Let, let's listen to this whilst I play City Sky. I, I think it might be toppy, actually. As I uplo- uploaded a some photo of my... Just imagine, as I uploaded a photo of my shelf and a laced, laced thong and matching bralette, I thought about what caption I should put with it. Bralette? I shuttled on, I'm down for anything. Uh, it was my I'm first time dirt, selling yeah. used underwear online, and with days, strangers on the internet began messaging, messaging me, requesting I do various activities spit down myself including shitting myself and then send my lingerie to them oh yeah that's normal that's yeah a, that's, a, that's a normal thing to do I yeah, toppy could I, so toppy, toppy could earn loads with his underwear couldn't he just shitting himself when he's shitting himself when he's drunk well yeah. you're saying there's a market for top cats used underwear oh yeah you, you yeah. gotta go to japan for that oh yeah <laughs> That's when I realised maybe being down for anything was the wrong choice of word. Eventually, I found a buyer that was comfortable with who wanted me to send the items as is, wrapped up my underwear, ready to post to him in America, and then cashed my sweet, sweet reward. Um, yeah. I can still remember how scared I felt at the post office because of what was in the parcel. But it, but as it was vacuum sealed and in a box, what does a fucking min shout smell, smell like if she had to vacuum seal it and put it in a box? There was no way people could know what was inside and frank, thankfully they didn't ask. How I, bad is her chuff? I, I assume that the uh, groomer panty connoisseur it's like, this is how you prepare it for shipping. And so, guide you to. So, have- basically, underwear is like coffee, is it? You know, it has to be like vacuum yeah. sealed or and. Cannabis. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because the only I've, time I've, I've heard watched of... videos of people like fucking unboxing these things, man, and there was this dude, he literally ripped the packaging open, pulled the panties out, and just shoved it straight up his oh, nose. No. Oh, no. No, stop. <laughs> This reminds me of an episode of Lex where they got like uh, the pervy uh, science bloke and he's sniffing the girl's panties for histopathology, as he calls it. <laughs> and he's letting people onto his like spaceship based on who's who smells fit and who doesn't. And then, like, so, uh, I've, I've skipped forward a bit, so I'll charge around 50 quid for underwear, but more if there are any special requests outside of wearing it 24 hours. There's all, there can also be a bit of back and forth with the whole process. I sometimes sometimes want to know what you're up to, what you're doing with the underwear, and how you're doing it. I'm happy to oblige, but I'm also confident in knowing where the line is. What I'm comfortable doing, what I'm uncomfortable doing. That includes soiling myself. There's no sh- shame or judgment from me oh. about doing that. It's just something I don't want to do. Oh, she won't. Sh- she won't shit herself. Hey Hobbit, have you been ringing? Have you been getting on to her? One cus- one customer only wanted me to cook a meal while wearing the lingerie. Nothing sexual, just cooking food. He didn't even specify what he wanted me to make, so I just cooked my dinner and got two hundred quid for it. Hobbit, did you pay her two hundred quid for her underwear while she was mate, cooking? Mate, 
if I was paying two hundred pounds for a woman's underwear and the cooking, I'd be like, you're cooking onions, peppers, shallots. <laughs> I, I want you to make a ratatouille soise, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, can you can you wear an apron whilst you're doing it? Yeah. Yeah, I want some cocker van love. Get fucking on it. Oh, oh yeah. She says, on average, she makes one thousand four hundred a month, but sometimes I've made close to four grand. Or a nice tap. Fucking hell. Nice I know that if I wanted to earn more, I could quit my full-time retail role and run this as my regular source of income. Thank but I like having question. my day job and this on the side because it's more stable. Has she um, has she notified the tax man about this? Ah, oh, you don't, don't need to do um, that. It's just supplemental income, isn't it? It's not, it's not taxable yeah. with the huge amounts that she's doing. No. So her name's Tatiana B. <laughs> B double E. If you want to uh, tell the tax, ask the tax man whether she's doing it or not. <laughs> yeah, Hobbit's always building this city, the future voodoo. It's something you'll realise the more of his streams you watch. Yeah, I've I've been getting into city skylines quite a lot. It's just like, hey, look, I've got this new processor graphics card. Great, let's play city skylines. Oh, actually, no, this is quite good um, for it. So, yeah. hey, Hobbit, I've got my story in the metro with my Zooflora tattoo. Your Zooflora tattoo. You didn't show me that. Yeah, that's me. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you trying to show something and I can't see it? I just put it in doodling pad. All right, let's, let's, let's have a look at this dude. Is it, oh, wow. Hobbit, Hobbit's building the city of the future, and I'm on Euro Truck Simulator bringing the parts so that he can build it. What is what is yeah. so Flora? Is that it's a collection? It's a uh, floor disinfectant. Yeah, it's so, pretty good to be fair. You can usually find it in Poundland for like a quid for a big bottle. Yeah, yeah. it smells. It smells nice. It's shit out of cleaning floors as well. Yeah, so the guy likes this cleaning product so much he got a tattoo. You know what? That reminds me of this like Malta fan, and he gets like these tattoos of Malta, and he's got a tattoo of Kinney, uh, the the national soft drink of Malta. Um, oh my I mean, okay, you know, fair enough, and. He's really happy because he's now a citizen of Malta, and they're just like, okay, the guy clearly oh, is just a fan. just a, just some bag, just some bag that was on uh, that was on early fans, Spacey Tracy. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, suffice to say there there is a big market in used panties. So if you want some new knickers, okay, he looks a good forty-eight. <laughs> He, he looks. He looks younger than Toppy. Without going to the shops, then uh, get yourself on OnlyFans. Fucking hell! Now the dad of two has his own house with wife Nikki, thirty-six, based. An uh, insane. I don't know if anyone plays Elite Dangerous actually voodoo, but I'm thinking of getting it because it looks pretty good. Oh, I've got Elite Dangerous. Yeah, we should do some sort of multiplayer thing. I mean, that's that's possible, right? Yeah, they've just added a new update for it as well. I think. Yeah. Is I'm Elite a... Dangerous just like souped up Elite then, is it, Hobbit? Uh, so Elite Dangerous is the sequel to Elite from the 1980s. and uh, um, right, okay. Very good sound design, beautiful artwork. Um, I would describe it as a mile wide and an inch deep, though. So, uh, you know, there's, there's... But mind you, that was five years ago. They've probably had a it's lot just of... A ba it's just a basic bitch space trading game, isn't it? That's all it is. Well, it's a very they've pretty. Added, um, they've added a DLC called Odyssey now, which looks pretty good. Well, yeah, because oh shit, I stopped playing around uh, about the time Horizons came out, and that was where you could land on planets and set up uh, mining camps or something. I even heard like uh, new players getting press ganged by uh, veterans who would strand them on the planet and say, "You can't leave until you've mined this much stuff." <laughs> Hey, Hobby, you, um, you got to do this. You got to do this one. Um, Amazon driver attacks woman sixty-seven after telling her telling her she ha she has right privilege. Oh, Oof. okay. Uh, well, we got ten minutes left. So. Uh, an Amazon delivery driver has been arrested after repeatedly punching a pensioner she accused of having white white privilege. The CCTV footage showed Itzel Ramirez, 21, hitting the customer in Castro Valley, California, who had reportedly told her not to be a bitch following a delayed delivery. Uh, Amazon confirmed it has sacked Ramirez. Oh, that's all right then, isn't it? The fact, it's fine. That's racist, then, sacking her. That's fine. It's nothing to do with us. Yeah. 
That's all they're gonna do, aren't they? Oh, that's it. It's like, you know, it's a private company, they can make the Oh shit! Non-binary student, 12, attacked for bringing an LGBT flag to pink to picnic. What's that? Let, let's go bash Toppy. No, LGBT stands for uh, Large Gay what? Bunda Top Cat, and the Q stands for v Question. VD, VD said they've added space legs, you can walk around planets, uh, first person. Oh. Oh, and he okay. put multi cruise ships. Uh, Alphabet Cat said you can find the Voyager 2 probe in it. Oh, so if you uh, go towards Earth. Oh, Alphabet, Alphabet Cat, Cat said there's a decent remake of the old Elite game called Oolite on the PC. That's for people who like the original. Oolite? Isn't Oolite a type who of Who likes mineral? the original with the fucking docking system on it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> when, when, you, when you say Oolite, there's a, there's a mineral called Oolite. I'm sure of it. Is there? Um, let me let me let me have let me have a look. I think my so anyway, a non-binary student, twelve, was attacked at a school picnic just for displaying an LGBT plus rainbow flag. Leo Huffman was dragged across oh, the ground and had water thrown on their head as they tried to wrestle back control of the flag, which flag which had been the flag, uh, the flag, oh, well, just, the flag, yeah. which had been snatched by fellow students. I'm right. Oolite is a mineral. It's a sedimentary rock formed from ooid, spe spherical grains composed of concentric layers. And the name derives from the ancient Greek word for egg. Strictly, oolites uh, consist of ooids of diameter of two millimeters. Rocks composed of ooids large two millimeters called pistolites. So. Uh, Leo and their friends. Is Leo a group of people? Because it says Leo and their friends have been enjoying the picnic at, Se at Seminole Middle School in Plantation. Where's Plantation? Voodoo Media says the docking system is still bad if you don't have the docking computer. I quite like doing a manual yeah. docking, so maybe I'll have a go at Elite Dangerous just to show my elite skills with the. Yeah, it's going to cost stuff. me about 50 quid to get the game and the DLC. Oh, Ooh. so a male student, a male student, they've just assumed somebody's gender there. A male student grabbed it and threw it in a trash can. Leo's father, Benjamin Hoffman, told Bay News, Leo took it back and decided to wear it as a cape before it was snatched by the same student again, resulting in Leo being thrown to the ground. Oh, God, it was like in 1930s Germany. Oh, God. They put it on the Hornby They might as well have just put a pink, pink triangle on him. Oh, God. And, and worse than that, they put him on the Hornby cattle car with the pride flags yeah. on it. <laughs> Remember, Their sister Ashley posted a clip of the incident on Twitter with the caption, This is a video of my little sibling, sibling Leo who is non-binary being drugged to the ground. Being drugged to the ground? Being drugged to the ground, stamped on and covered in water just for wearing a pride flag at school. I'm yeah, I'm sure that's the only reason they dislike fucking Leo Hoffman, isn't it? Uh, I believe drugged is like the past tense for drugs. No, not even drugged. Drug to the ground, as in drug use. Yeah, they're, they're trying to do past tense of drag and dragged, and it's like, no. The, the past tense of drag is dragged. So, yeah. sorry to be a grammar nut. Sorry to holocaust your grammar there, Leo Frank. Yeah. Uh, Leo, Mr. Hoffman told Bain News, Leo frightened. The, the group of people called Leo is very strong and would do anything to protect their friends. Oh, oh really? Oh. How can one person be a group of people? What, what the Leo Frank Society of Protecting Leos? Yeah. yeah. What, what, uh, what? I got a this from um, oolite.org, uh, Alphabet Cat. Is there is there is there a bit more to this this uh, Leo Frank Society of protecting people with the name Leo Frank? I mean, what um, what might this society be called from now? The I suppose it could have worked. It, it could have been worse. The kid could have been called Jack, couldn't he? <laughs> the Jacking Moth. Jack Hoffman. Yeah, Jack Hoffman. Yeah, you do, don't you, Leo? You little faggot. Oh uh, yeah. Oh well, it could be worse. He could be in your school. <laughs> Man mortified after being tricked into posing for bondage bed adverts. 
<laughs> a gunsmith machinist has been left red faced after us unwittingly being the star of a bondage bed advert. John Lower, 39, agreed to build the 700 pound stocks bed for his sister in law, Tracy McLaugh- McLaughlin, who was selling it on behalf of her son Mark, 33. But when carer Tracy asked John to pose in the kinky furniture, he hadn't realised he- she was taking pictures to be used in the advert selling the item on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so Facebook Marketplace, kinky bondage bed. Yeah. So, what is a kinky bondage bed? It's basically like a wooden bed with stocks in the end. Oh yeah, I've seen one of those online. So when he was doing it, was he like um, saying, so why does this have like leather restraints and such, and things like that? And she's like, oh well, you know, um, it helps if you toss and turn in your sleep. Oh, some more. So uh, I found a, I found a quote. Uh, Donnie's just put a quote in from the unwashed stream. Was it? I tried. I tried being a nationalist for a year. Was it, Donnie? Yeah, huh. it's, it's just like some cope from him from about that time stamp on. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wait, he's pathetic, isn't he? It is. It's Good luck with pathetic. your next commercial endeavor, unwashed. Maybe it'll be yeah. earning fifty p a day. Sorting out prison laundry. Is it 50p a day or do you get more than 50p a day? I think it's less than that. I don't know. I, d- I don't know either. I know it's a pound a day if you want the telly. So, uh, t- you know, if you're earning 50 pence a day but it's a pound a day to earn a telly, does that mean like you go half the year without a telly? Like if you want it. So it's like five lemons then. I, I don't. I don't. What is a lemon? Seventeen cents. Well, his. What he, his... He's not allowed lemons anymore because he was a fucking retard and he sucked up to Mark Collett, didn't he? If he goes, <laughs> if he goes to prison and earns fifty p a day, will that mean like his his finances would improve? I don't. Who fucking cares? Ah, oh, well, the, these are the questions which nationalists want to know, Harry. The, these are the mm. pertinent questions of today. We are we are asking the questions others dare not ask. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Rather. Like for example, uh, a woman bro- woke up in Gibraltar instead of Belfast after getting on the wrong plane. Dun, 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 dun. Hang on. That's not uh, so a bad. man has been jailed jailed for stabbing YouTube star to death with sword. Stabbing um, with a sword. Yeah. I'm intrigued. Uh, Keeney Kissingu Mubala, 20, was on the phone That's to his bank when man, Mazin, Mazin Ab- Abdul Abdulmonim, 19, attacked him out of the blue on October 12th of last year. That sounds like that doesn't sound like a white person's problem. These don't sound like real names either. I, I don't. Mm. I, I think these are made up names. Oh, I crashed. What, it, the, the crashed desktop, or like you crashed your vehicle? I crashed my vehicle. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> Oopsie doopsies. What, you, you drove in the big submarine yet? Uh huh. Are you driving? Yeah. yeah, big submarine. Have you got, like, uh, nuclear power and, and. Is it nuclear power you can get in the sub? Oh, I don't know. What, are you talking about, Subnautica? Okay. Like, is it like the submarine's nuclear powered and you can put batteries in to recharge the batteries from the nuclear power? And... No, you can, you can get ion power for it. Um. Or you can get a thermal uh, reactor, which means that the hotter air. Oh my god! Ch- chicken chop closes after woman is served deep fried towel. <laughs> you're a towel. No, you're a towel. You're the oh, worst. Certainly no friend. chicken joy for Alique, Alique Perez. What the fuck country is this in? Uh, it, when she pulled apart the better the batter of her aptly named fast food meal this week, the mother was instead disgusted after discovering her deep fried chicken from Jollibee, based in the Philippines, was actually a town. Oh well, there's a fucking surprise. But uh, you know, uh, all these people can come out. Uh, Philippines people come over here and be nurses, but they can't even fucking batter a fucking chicken correctly can they have well, to put a obvi- deep fried towel in there obviously battering a chicken deep is a lot more complicated you're a towel yeah you're t- a towel. T- t- towel it, that's far more complicated than than nursing i mean so you, you're only looking after the well-being of of a patient it's not like yeah. uh, oh, oh no i done it again i i, I deep fried uh, indiana towel. jones five set Set pictures reveal plot clues as vehicles with Nazi symbols pro- uh, spotted. What? Give up. 
Oh, what? He's right. They're raping him. Oh, do you remember the South Park? They're raping him. They're raping him. Stop raping him. Indiana the Jones and the Quest for Incontinence Pants. Mm. Like, he's so uh, old. Just, just let it, let him die with dignity, please. Yes. He's old. He's yeah. so old. I agree with Hobbit. Too old. Oh God. Harrison Ford didn't even want to be in that Star Trek film. That was. Oh yeah, uh, the one that's trying to say it says something about the plot, but no one's saying anything. The the plot is uh, white man bad and uh, Yas Queen slave. That's got that Phoebe Waller Bridge in here. They keep going on. Who, who the fuck is Phoebe Waller Bridge? Phoebe Waller Bridge. I have no idea. Oh my fucking hell! Jesus Christ! What, what, have you, you spotted something Oof. untoward, have you? A doodling pad of it. Put that up. That's what Phoebe Waller Bridge looks like. Jesus Christ. She looks like ass. Um. Uh, oh, I'm in potential stories. You, you know what? It's nine. Okay, so we'll, we'll just we'll quickly do this one. So I'm going to copy this, this link. Oh, and I'm going to go into uh, the thing about Oolite. Paste and go. Good lord, she looks awful. And I'm going to change oh, the window caption. Isn't she people. like a massive shit lib as well? So, so here we go. Phoebe Wallerbridge. No, I'm, I'm just going to rename your name to Lloyd Twat, like the other woman, Double Barrel, but that's a very long nose. Yes. And there's Indiana Jones when he was relevant. And that that's it. Just, uh, yeah, so... She, she's the star of this new show, and that's all it we got for today. Go, go, go fuck off. Bye. Uh -huh. Go away now. That's it.